Have you ever purchased a car? Or have you ever tried to deal with the bureaucracy of government? <laughs> There's tons of paperwork. Whether you're dealing with bureaucracies for permits and permissions, or whether you're buying a car and there's all of the paperwork that has to be signed. Uh, most of us just say there's just too much paperwork, there's too many rules, too many regulations. And of course I believe that's one of the reasons that a lot of people felt like Trump was going to be a good president because he was going to do away with some of the ridiculous rules. Certainly Christians tend to have the same kind of an approach to religion. They feel like there's too many rules, too many regulations. Uh, there's uh, too many thou shalls and thou shalt nots. But the fact of the matter is, there's just the right amount. And when we really look at it from a realistic standpoint, it's really important. So let me just read to you from Psalm 19, verses 7 through 11. The law of the Lord is perfect, restoring the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandments of the Lord are pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true. They are righteous altogether. They are more desirable than gold, yes, honey, and dripping of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant is warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. Now, there's probably two parts of that last verse, verse 11, Psalm 1, excuse me, Psalm 19, verse 11, that uh, bother you. The first is uh, that your servant is warned. We don't like to be warned. <laughs> we, we, we don't like rules and regulations. And the second part of that is uh, that in keeping them, there is great reward. And most of us don't see the reward. Now, I know I've explained this once or twice before on YouTube, but I think it's well worth repeating over and over again. If you're an adult and you are raising your children, you made rules and regulations, what were they for? They were for the best interest of your children. Now, if you were a reasonable parent and a good, godly parent, uh, your rules were good. They were righteous, and they were to protect your child and to give them good life. Let me give you an example. For example, you probably insisted that your children brush their teeth. Why? Well, maybe some of you would say because we didn't want to pay the dental bills, but most of you would probably be honest and say because you didn't want your children to have to go through the drilling of teeth and the aggravation and all of the trouble that's involved in taking care of bad teeth. So your parents made you brush your teeth, but it wasn't for them, it was for your good. Your parents probably made you do your homework and probably had some incentives for you to get good grades in school. Why? Well, the likelihood is they're not going to be around a long time after you graduate college. and, and the reason they wanted you to have good grades and to get a good school education was so that you could get a decent job, make a reasonable living, and enjoy life. So, in fact, your parents' rules may have seemed burdensome when you were a child, but now that you've grown up, you realize they were for your good and not for theirs. God's the same way. With his commandments and his rules, we find that they're there to warn us, that's true, verse 11, but in keeping them, there is great reward. You see, when I do the things God says to do, I feel good. I find satisfaction. I find completion in my life. I find fulfillment. If I don't keep them, I have nothing but guilt and shame and the bad effects of not keeping his laws. When I do the things that he says to do, I find that fulfillment. But when I don't do the things that he says to do, I find nothing but pain. So his rules aren't for him. His rules are for us, that we might have life and that we might have it abundantly. Take a look at John 10.10. 10. That's what he desires for us. And his rules are there because, listen to the second part of verse 11, in keeping them, there is great reward. That's your thought for the day.
God bless you and have a great day.